Here at Chris 6 News, we are aiming to help residents of the coastal bend get back on their feet, and that starts with getting back to work. But how has the work environment changed as we enter a new normal? Here's our Jeff Dubroff to explain. There's no denying it. The world looks very different right now, and that extends to the world of finding a job. And as the coastal bend gets back to work, there are some tips they'll need to know in order to be ready. We're going to have more competition out there, and it's important that candidates present themselves in a way that recruiters, you know, job posts, whatever they're going after, they can be more competitive. The state of Texas continues to reopen in phases, opening up more job opportunities. The problem is, in the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak, there seems to be more job seekers than jobs available. Now with this course correction of the pandemic, we've got, we're going to hit probably 14, maybe they even saying some high as 20% of unemployment. We spoke with Ladino Bryson, a former job recruiter and CEO of vcandidates.com, Monica Della Garza of Workforce Solutions of the Coastal Bend, and lastly, Laverne Crumrine, an employment consultant at Goodwill South Texas. They tell us what job seekers can do to get the upper hand. People need to be willing to do what is necessary to secure an opportunity. Perhaps the most important aspect in the job hunt is the resume. If you haven't really looked at your resume in a while or you haven't used it in a while, especially if you've been unemployed all this time, you want to dust it off. You want to get into it. A resume is the first introduction to an employer of who you are. The resume is followed by applying for jobs, something that Laverne Crumrine says has to be nonstop. Dedicate um, time each day to, to job search. Consider job seeking your full-time job. We all know applying for jobs can be exhausting. With more people on the job market, the competition only intensifies. Generally speaking, a job seeker submits 50 applications before they are contacted for one interview. If you get the interview, Della Garza says preparation is key and will separate you from the pack. Do your research. Please want to know that you know about them. Pay attention to the details that are written in the job description. Finally, the big interview. Bryson has one piece of advice, dress for success. It's important for people to dress for their job. So there's nothing wrong with putting on a collared shirt, looking clean, fresh, and remember to smile. Right now, things are tough. There's no denying that. But as jobs start to open again, the time to apply is now, not later. A lot of people are going to wait to June, July after some of the stimulus money runs out or unemployment. It's going to be too late. Prepare now. Now, let's look at the three key takeaways for those looking to get back to work. The first thing is updating that resume. Make sure it's polished and it shows your best skills before sending it off in an application. Secondly, before you do have that interview, make sure you do your research. Know what the questions are going to be asked and know what the job entails. And lastly, for that big interview, dress for success. For more information, you can visit our website, chrisTV.com slash rebound. For The Rebound Coastal Bend, I'm Jeff Dubrow.